Hello, it's your boy Dapper the Don, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I know you guys didn't expect a weekend video, but this topic popped up in my head and I couldn't wait to talk about it. In today's video, we are going to do a master class on a word that I feel is used too many times by females. Before I start, I just want to say that this is just the Don's opinion. You don't have to agree. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Now let's get into it. We live in a generation that is filled with a bunch of statements that are followed by contradictions and situations that are double sorted. One of them, for example, is, let's say it's a sunny day on a Saturday, and you decide to take a walk at the beach. You're walking admiring the view and the sounds of the ocean when all of a sudden you see an ice cream truck selling ice cream. You go up to the ice cream truck and get yourself the classic ice cream cone. As you continue to walk down the beach with your ice cream cone that you're licking, you start to see women giving you a look as if you're walking naked. Well, you're not naked and they are looking at you because you're a grown man licking an ice cream cone, which means you're giving off a feminine trait, which means it's triggering an ick. Ick refers to an immediate and visceral reaction to an individual's behavior, attribute, or characteristic that provokes a profound sense of aversion or repulsion, specifically within the context of romantic interest or attraction. This reaction is more than mere dislike. It signifies a fundamental incompatibility that resonates on a deep, often inexplicable level. The manifestation of ick can vary widely among different people as it is inherently subjective and tied to personal preferences, values, or experiences. It may be triggered by physical actions, spoken words, ethical beliefs, or even subtle nuances in personality or demeanor. Once experienced, the sensation often leads to an irrevocable cessation of romantic interest in the person, overshadowing other qualities that may have initially been appealing. Example, girl number one says, did you see Dante fixing his wedgie in the cafeteria today? Girl number two says, sis, yeah, it was such an ick for me. Now in days, anything you do as a man can be an ick. Laughing hard to a TV show, ick. Putting on chapsticks, ick. Walking down a hill, ick. Most of the things that women consider an ick is solely on the fact that you're a man doing it. Now if you ask me, I feel like there's a miscommunication between the women of this generation now in days, because this doesn't help the case when women say they hate toxic masculinity. One moment you hate if a man says he wants his woman to know how to cook, and the next moment you feel every man should know how to change a tire or it's an ick. I remember I saw a post that went viral and a girl said, when you meet his friends and you realize he's not the leader of the friend group, I don't know what you women thought it is, but this isn't Planet of the Apes. We don't challenge each other for the alpha position because there isn't any. But with everything that comes with the internet culture, it's mainly just people talking out of their ass who are single and live in their echo chambers and it's all fun and games until we start playing bruv. She posts pictures of her in a bikini on Instagram that's such an ick. I told her I was hungry and instead of asking me what I wanted her to cook, she said we should order pizza. As a woman, how could you not cook for your man such an ick? Wait what you said you don't give head, it's giving ick. Not gonna lie though, that's last part is valid AF. But these videos of women saying their icks are getting out of hand, let's watch a few. Five icks in number one when they can't swim. Okay, so it's bad if we can't swim, but what about you? Is it an ick still when you can't swim? Besides, the only time you should be worried about my swimming is when I'm swimming in that meow meow. Number two, and this one, I learned the hard way. When a man is running after the ping pong ball in beer pong. All right, guys, you heard it here. When you drop something and it rolls away, just look at it angrily and tell it to come back before you start counting. Number three, when they are rude to service workers. I don't care if this is a retail worker, I don't care if this is at a restaurant, I don't care if this is in the parking lot. Nine out of 10 times it will be the women who are rude because we men can get the wrong order and just say thank you. That's more of a pet peeve, if anything, which is one of mine. Number four, when they ask for nudes. I'm going to give her that one, fellas. Trust me, a girl that sends nudes probably sends nudes on the normal and will send you a nude before you even get to ask. I was talking to a girl one day and she was saying how she likes to do yoga and stuff. I asked her what kind of yoga position she does, and instead of answering the question, she proceeds to send me a video of her stretching in the doggy style position completely naked. Five. When they can't or don't cook for themselves or for you, but like mainly themselves, and when they don't clean after themselves. Okay, so she's just not one with reality because I don't know about you guys, but in nine out of 10 marriages, the wife is the only one that knows how to cook. And before you ask, yes, the Don knows how to cook. Now don't get me wrong though, if you do know how to cook as a man, women do find it attractive, but not knowing how to cook as a man is not a deal breaker for women. 
and the cleaning up when you're going to have company over is honestly just common sense. Next video. You like are looking at a guy and then they trip and fall. You like see him trip and fall and then you're like, what the fuck? It's like, get up. It's like, like why are you falling? <sighs> Alright guys, if you ever trip and fall, just stay on the ground and die because it's over for you. When a guy trauma dumps on you for two hours. Trauma dump? What the hell does that mean? It's when a guy tells you all of his problems and all of his trauma for the past, whatever, 15 years. So a guy should never really open up to you. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is only one woman out here on earth that I ever talked to about how I truly feel inside, and that's my mother. When a woman tells you her problems as a man, you're supposed to be all ears, but as a man, you shouldn't have any. One time I was talking to this guy and someone attempted to murder him and he got hit by a car and that just like, it gave him the egg. You have to limp off and like cry. Gotcha. So fellas, if you get hit by a car, you better Hancock that shit. So I can lock. Okay, so forget what the other girl said about not knowing how to swim. Just don't go in water at all. So if you're eating food and have nowhere to put the plate, either just throw it away or channel the force within you. And let it hover while you get what you need to get done. As you guys can see, any woman who tells you she has icks isn't a woman at all. She's a little immature girl who you wouldn't want to be with in the first place. Live your life and don't think too much into the clowns at the circus. I will say my ick is a woman who has icks. Well, that will be all for today. If you have any topics you would like for the Don to help you with, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification and like and share the video. I'm Dapper the Don and have a good day.